him. We've been there now for about six months. Aye, I've not been able to get you in, um, I was, sorry, I, I, I didn't know you were on. I've you no didn't know I was on, that's the yeah. thing, I got it. There's so many stations down there, isn't there? I know, and a lot of them have gone down the pan. They're, well, they're all doing the pan bar one or two. Aye, but there's only, there's only one phone in, in Manchester, and you know, in the Manchester Liverpool area, listen to now. Absolutely, but, uh, no, Pete's a great guy, see if you're talking to him, give him my Aye. regards quite seriously. I listen to him, and you know, um, James on Key 103 calls everybody baby. Uh, oh, James, yes, I know James as well, absolutely. Aye. I've spoke to him loads of times lately. You get on with your phone-ins, I'll tell you. Aye. That, that's, that's the other, but uh, a lot of these uh, stations, as you say, they've gone down the pan. Aye, they have. You know, that's the thing, too many and not enough good quality content. I know, um... You're, you like your phone-ins, though, don't you? Aye, a day. You're aye. the right one for the phone-ins. Aye, do you know the old documentary about you and um, that Manchester station? Was it Century? It was on um, Century, recently. Century, yes, that's right. Pete had Morgan in the morning and Degsy and all them. That's right, that's right. That's the one, yes. I was in trouble at the top. I still have any fun where degsy has gone to these days. Where degsy has gone to? Aye, if he's still on the radio. Oh, he's, he's, he's a big star. Aye. Aye. He's a big star. He's a great guy as well. He's another mate of mine. So there Aye. you are. If you're talking to him, give him my regards. Aye, do, you, do you like Liverpool? It's all right. I think it's a great city. Aye, it's okay. Aye, it's a great city. <coughs> Aye. I bet you you're torn between Scotland and Liverpool. Aye, I've not been up in Glasgow for a while. Aye, I'll I tell you. I spoke to you early in the year, remember? I do, I do. They're very similar cities. Aye, they are. Don't, I, don't know. Know, I don't really know Manchester very well, oh, though. Manchester's a great city. It's fairer than that, can I? Oh, that's wonderful. Hey, so there you are, Molly. How wonderful. Now then, what now, can I do for and you? And I want to give the red rose of love to you and Amanda. You're very sweet. Now, I want to say about the religion. Yes. I don't think they should take that away. That's the last thing they should ever take away. Now, now I why, why, why is that, Molly? What do you? Why is well, that? Well, I think it's... Uh, a, a great ruling to fall and well, something to well I think people feel it takes an awful lot of time up at the school oh I don't think so could, could they not get that no, taught well, at the well my church? daughter taught it and it was only a, a half an hour and it was an on you think the school and no, they asked non-denominational for it. Yes. yes and they asked for it for her to teach it and the parents wanted it because they found it wasn't being taught enough and then she done one half an hour every morning, and they were so overjoyed by that. But do you not think we should start to phase religion out, really? Oh, no, no, no. no. Oh, it'd be a very lost, empty world. And it causes an awful lot of bother, too, in the world, doesn't well, it? Well, if, if that went out, it would have more bother about something else. Do you think so, Molly? Do you think they just replace it with something oh, else? Oh, yes. Do you oh, think yes. people like a bit of bother? Oh, do I? Just find trouble, make trouble. Making to trouble. Get that. Absolutely. Now I was on to talk about the great Jai M. Yes. Friday. Ye oh, yes, brilliant. And he used to sit in the dress circle in a chair at the side. Right. And people thought he was just an old age pensioner. That lovely. They never realised who he was, you know. He was the author. Yes, and he was watching his own play. Things like. And, uh, did you ever see Tin Talk Cup? What was it called? The pantomime he wrote. He got a different scripts from different people. What was it called again? Tin Talk Cup. Yes, I've heard of it. And you could never get in the door. Yes. And it, it's locked up now forever. Never, never. And be played again. Do you remember it, things like the Foregon Reel? Oh, I. Yes. Yes. Now, I'm going to tell you about some of the scripts. His son, Brady's son, has that. Uh, the memoirs of the Tin Talk Cup. Ronald Now, uh, in the Tin Talk Cup, um, uh, Duncan McCree was there, who knew well. Yes. Stanley Baxter, they took a part in it, you see. Yes. And they were doing a show, and St uh, Duncan was dressed up as a lady. Oh, right. And he had his long earrings in, and his evening gown on, and they went to the dance hall out in Gallagher, I'll not mention it, <laughs> and Stanley was there. And Stanley was dressed up as a teddy boy, Stanley Baxter. <laughs> and uh, Duncan came up, he says, Are you for dancing? <laughs> and Stanley Baxter says, Are you for asking? <laughs> and he said, Um, and he said, Stanley says, Bah, can he dance? And McCree says, Well, just hang on to my earrings here 
and I'll drag you through the fire. That great. <laughs> so that was part of that, you know. So that, and he was a big tall man, Mr. Oh, Ryan. Uh, a lovely man. And when he was doing his rehearsal, he used to leave his little girls with me in my staff room. Right. Aye. And, uh, but I'll come on again. And, and, and a lovely and, story. And was he quietly spoken? Very quiet. Yes. Very, very quiet. And while I'm on, uh, uh, Scotty, I want to tell you, you know about RAF, John, my husband was in, God rest him, he's gone now, but he was in um, RASC, the Royal Al Al Service Corps. Right. And he was in London in the middle of the Battle of Britain. My goodness. And he drove the colonel of the Pioneer Corps. Right. And the Pioneer Corps was the crew that took away all the debris. Yes. And the bomb that took, the Pioneer Corps were the people we took away the debris after the bombing. Oh, my goodness, what? And a, my husband drove the colonel all round, and the bomb came flying. One of the big bombers came flying over, and, you know, it, the colonel said to him, right, Jim, fly, throw the car and run. And my husband ran away into a gent's toilet, and the colonel ran somewhere else, and he got killed. Oh, my God. Then my husband we got slightly injured, but he was saved, you know, and came back out to live for many years. In the Blitz in 1940? Yeah. Yes, my and, goodness uh, me. So he was an RESC, the Royal Island Service Corps. How amazing. Ah. Gosh, it's a joy to speak to you because you, you, there's not many people, you know, remember James Bridie and he was a oh, fascinating no. character. You talk about RAF, John, but no, but I'm antiquated. You're wonderful, you are. And right. all these, Jonah and the Whale. Right, Dad. Uh, Do you remember Jonah and the Whale? And you know about him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember the play? Do you remember um, Matthew the Spaceman? Yes. I called him Mr. Shakespeare. Isn't he great? And I called you uh, Dickens. Dickens. <laughs> Dickens and Shakespeare together, <laughs> making a drama. Isn't that fantastic? And uh, Elizabeth Lizzie, who comes on. Yes. I, I think she's <laughs> my, my heap. She's funny, isn't she? You're, oh, I, I, you're I a heap. <laughs> <laughs> you're terrible. You're, but you're, it's lovely to talk. You're an awful cultured woman. How you doing?